The best iPhones of all time, early 2020 edition. Welcome to the video. Here's the question. What's the best iPhone of all time? That's for you to determine. But for now, we'll present the best iPhones of all time for you to judge. The first one. The original iPhone, the Gorilla Back, the OG, the one that Steve Jobs used to shock the world. It's our first phone on the list because it's the first iPhone and the device that started the cellular phone revolution. Sure, it's not much to look at now, and it's minimum specs, no app store. Famously, Steve Jobs thought everything should be web. A measly 2 megapixel camera and 320 by 480 screen seem weaker than Sakura now. But in the day, it was the best and people lined up overnight to get it. Welcome to the modern cell phone world. The iPhone 3GS. Why is the 3GS on this list? Because 3G. It was faster than the original 3G. And it was the second 3G phone. Are that, is that a lot of 3Gs? It ran graphics and supported frameworks that the original iPhone 3G didn't. And it was the last of its kind of the more or less original form factor. The way it fit into your palm is something that, for all their sexiness, no other iPhone has quite done. The iPhone 4. The first truly sexy iPhone. Glass front and back, the iconic and troublesome metal band that gave it the sleek, smooth, sophisticated, and beautiful look. Also, this phone had to be the biggest pain to try and pick up off a flat surface, which also led to a lot of drops in the breaking of that super fragile glass back. But man, did it look great. The iPhone 5. I know it may seem like I'm just listing every iPhone, but really I'm not. This was another Apple form factor innovation, and in the iPhone 5, 5C, 5S, and the original SE body, Many feel that Apple made the form factor perfect. The 5 Series had a bigger screen and it still fit perfectly into your palm. You could reach everything with one hand without getting thumb cramps. Hey, are you enjoying the video so far? If so, like and subscribe. That would be brilliant. Thanks. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. The first of the big screen phones Apple made a big leap forward in screen size for both its smallest size and its new phablet-sized plus phone. For many, this phone, not the 5, was the optimal spot for size and screen size while still remaining slender and light. You could still put the phone in your pocket, even if you were a female, and hey, we're sorry that your designers have a thing against full pockets, and it didn't make you walk lopsided. The phone was slimmer than the 5 series, had a bigger battery, and had an improved 20 nanometer process. Also, the iPhone 6 base size became the foundation for phones still being produced today, which says something for its utility and size. The iPhone 11 Pro Max. The iPhone 11 Pro Max is the latest and best representative of Apple's phones. It's the evolution of the screen, OLED versus retina display, camera system, including the incredible low light photography, and battery time. A phenomenal phone, even if it's the size of a moleskin. It's an amazing tour de force of Apple technology. iPhone SE 2020. Why is this phone on? I mean, doesn't it use the exact same body as the iPhone 6, 7, 8? Yes, it does. This is the first mid-range monster phone and significant statement by Apple. The latest iPhone SE is a true beast of a mid-range phone that includes the best iPhone chipset, the A13, and compares with most Android flagship phones for raw processor power. This processor gives it increased camera capability and updates a beloved form factor that still utilizes Touch ID for people that love it. It's the best phone, bar none, you can buy for the price. There's our rundown of the best Apple iPhones. What do you think? Did we miss one? Should we take one out? Let us know down in the comments. And thanks for watching.